Hello everybody, Jim here to talk about the newest ship concept in Star Citizen, the Drake Corsair. I know it might be hard to tell since you can't see my face, but I'm, I'm pretty excited about this ship. I love this concept, and it's the first time in a very long time that I kind of wanted to crack open my wallet and whip out some fresh cash for this game. Fortunately, I don't have any! Woohoo! <laughs> Touch that bullet. Oh man. Uh, seriously though, I'm going to keep this short because I fully intend to do a without the numbers video on this ship. So today I'm going to sort of ogle the numbers and maybe caress them a bit and then wipe the drool off of them so I can put them back and make a more comprehensive video later. Let's start with the elephant in the room. Ooh, them hard points. <laughs> obviously, obviously the main selling point of this ship is the firepower. I believe the technical designation for this kind of firepower on a ship this size is like big old honking blasters because it's got a lot of firepower. Uh, when I looked at the stats page, I was sure it had to be wrong. Four size 5 hard points, two size 4 hard points, three turrets with two size 2 weapons each, and eight size 3 missiles. I mean, holy crap. Uh, sure, this might all be subject to change, but... It reads the same across the stats page, the brochure, the sales page, the ship matrix, and the weekly videos, although you technically don't read it there, but this is not normally the case when they've made a mistake over at Cloud Imperium, so I think they might be serious about this. Just to put all of that into perspective for people who don't really know what those numbers mean, I generally one-shot light fighters with four size four guns on my favorite ship, the Starfare Gemini. Currently, you can still one-shot some light fighters with just two size 4 guns. Well, the Corsair has two of those, plus four more <laughs> even bigger ones. I mean, it's, it's, it's a lot of firepower. If you select the loadout for maximum punch, then hit with all of them on a single ship, you can probably one-shot most medium fighters and maybe even some multi-crew ships. I mean, so long, Super Hornets. Kaboom. Uh... Then there's the missiles. Eight of them! Assuming they hit, uh, they'll probably ruin a heavy fighter, and they might put the fear into some medium multi-crew ships. I don't really care for missiles myself, but they definitely give an opponent something to think about, so they're always worth some consideration. Uh, those three turrets, they aren't all that special size-wise, but two of them are side-mounted. Now, I don't know how effective they will be. They'll probably be garbage, but they are guaranteed to look awesome. <laughs> Frankly, I don't even care if they're useful. I've been saying for years that I wanted a turret that felt like shooting out of my bedroom window. Well, that's exactly what these look like. Are they stupid? Yes! Do I care? Not even a little. <laughs> I, I want them. I want them in my life. <laughs> the third turret is a rear-facing remote turret, so it's easy to access when the cargo bay is full, and it shoots people who try to follow you, which is always a good thing. So the turrets, for one reason or another, are great. But if we're being honest, the front of the Corsair is definitely the business end. This, in short, is a ship that insists other ships get out of its way. The inside has Four separate crew cabins, which isn't something you normally see in a medium multi-crew ship, and it is something that I particularly like, even if those cabins are Spartan. There's a nice mess area, a pooper, a cargo area that can carry 72 SCU of crap, or it can carry a land vehicle like a rover, a cyclone, or even a couple of hover bikes, though they don't come with the ship. Uh, the cockpit is specially designed to make sure the pilot and co-pilot both have a nice view, and, best of all, Everything inside is Drake branded, so it's going to look a bit like the Caterpillar in there, which is my favorite interior in the game. Yes, I like that interior even better than the Starfarer Gemini, because the Caterpillar reminds me of the Millennium Falcon. Also, if you look closely, there is this area, which is probably the engineering section, and it's got all of your components in one place. And then there are these areas, which they didn't even bother to label. <laughs> I, mean, I wonder what those could be for. Ah, uh, well, it must not be important. We'll see if we can figure it out by the end of the video. <laughs> also, I think the outside looks fantastic. Like the Carrick, 
The Corsair has all of those pointy bits and angled wings. There's also a touch of asymmetry to the wings that gives it a nice off-balance feel without totally changing the balance in terms of weight and air resistance in the actual game. Uh, the surface of the ship is standard Drake exposed metal and bolts, which, to me, really makes it feel like a spaceship. And all of this combines to give the Corsair a sort of 1970s sci-fi look that, frankly, revs my nerd engine. And maybe one other engine as well, just, just a little bit. It's not a serious condition or anything, but in the rare event that I should experience a Corsair flight lasting more than four hours, I should probably seek immediate medical attention, if you know what I mean. And that's pretty much all there is to say about the Corsair. Oh, wait, wait, I think we missed something. Maybe we should take one more look at the sales page. All right, let's see what we're talking about here. We got, okay, yeah, that's the loadout. What's this? Oh, also the loadout. What's this? Okay, cargo, and you can store a vehicle. Uh, oh, more on the loadout. Okay, fancy pretty wings. Big surprise, more loadout. <laughs> oh, what's this? Oh, yep, more on the loadout. And what's this lonely little guy down here? Oh, scanning suite. Okay, yeah, I wonder why they didn't talk more about this. It's almost like they didn't care if it could explore. Hmm, interesting. What do you know? This ship has fancy scanners. It's almost like they tacked them on as an afterthought. Oh, right, I almost forgot this is an exploration ship. I've been waiting for an explorer with a good loadout for years. I wonder why they didn't talk more about the scanning equipment. <laughs> Maybe they forgot. <laughs> uh, certainly not because of the pirate ship. And that really is all I have to say for the Corsair today. I will do a more thorough video on this ship after the Q&A is out. For now, thank you all very much for watching, and I will see you next time.